Hello, it is Bookbusters Misadventures in Candlekeep. Uh, we are without one of our members tonight. We unfortunately do not have Knock, aka Tim, but we do have everybody else. Say hello, everybody else. Everybody else. Hello, hello. hello everybody else. This session is picking up immediately after the last one. Um, for one nice, wholesome sirloin of inspiration, who would like to tell us what happened last time on their first of day course. at school, Catriona? Of course. Previously oh. in Dungeon Ball Z. Everyone um, woke up. Oh, go ahead. Actually, I'm just kidding. You can go if you'd like. No, but if you actually uh, remember more details, oh, you, you, you. Okay, so. Sure. Oh, okay, okay, you. Can. Every time you get a detail <laughs> wrong, by the way, you lose one AC. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much AC to lose. Um. <laughs> okay, so Cat started her first day. She met uh two other students. Um, Volley and Precious, and Precious is cat. Wrong. Judy. It's not a cat. <laughs> no, that's, that's, it's... that's my best guess. <laughs> it that's mostly guess. resembles uh, a cat sometimes. When looking at it, you know, with one eye closed and like kind of squinting and looking cross-eyed, um, it's kind of cat-shaped. So, uh, her creature friend, um, and then we also met a few of the staff, and they showed me the kitchen, and then someone left a gift in my room, uh, which they all got very creeped out by. I thought it was maybe from them. Um, and then we were summoned, prompted, something, to go elsewhere <laughs> up the stairs I <laughs> and then uh, ended up, up the stairs AC and down the five. stairs is the same place <laughs> yeah <laughs> and ran it to some minotaurs at which point cat uh, cast some spells and uh, turned into stone as a side effect um, and really kind of sat most of the the fight out. Um, we eventually made it through the maze uh, and the family of minotaurs uh, where we came across a new little area where we uh, saw another student. That's that's mostly it. Do I have any AC left? I only have nine to begin with. I am impressed that you dumped ace, dumped dexterity as a sorcerer. <laughs> Listen, I wanted, listen, her, it, it made sense, uh, for how klutzy she is, so. Well, who am I to argue with that? <laughs> it should so. be noted that there was first the Minotaur, who was the son, and then we killed the husband, Minotaur. The maze was a time. Uh, an entire, I was out for most of it. And an entire family tree was wiped out. To be fair, we left the wife alive. Yeah, and she will have a labyrinthine recall of the day her husband and son were murdered before her very eyes. You have condemned her, sir! Well, in our defense, it was self-defense. Maybe they just wanted to guide you through... They're hunting you down to escort you through the, uh, through the maze. Mm-hmm. While... Those die mortals. Oh, yeah, they, they were German. It was like, the mortals! The mortals are this way! <laughs> um, while all that was happening, Riley, you received an important summons from Scholar oh, Zio. You were asked to, you were given a small ward stone to help you get to a particular floor and were asked to come down directly to a place you hadn't heard of before. Um, 
you were asked to come to the antechamber for spell hold. And you went down there and found a little seating area. And whilst sat there waiting, your companions and a new face you weren't familiar with came down the stairs and joined you. And that is where we're picking up now. Valley, as Valley's coming down the stairs, they just look up the Panty 12 statue and say, Oh, is that Bruna Battlehammer? Oh, precious! Valley! Hey! Oh, hi, Riley. I didn't notice you there. Also, Riley, this is a Katarina Moonstar. And oh. Valley's going to lean in conspiratorially and say, She's rich! Hello! I'm Riley. Uh, I will step forward and just kind of extend my hand. Hi, I'm Kat. We just fought Minotaurs in a maze. What? And she seems like really excited and a little bit proud about it. You know, the Minotaurs in the maze. You know how there's all those like weird floors? We just found one, found one that was all maze and Honestly, I don't think we could have been surprised when there were minotaurs there, you know? We it's really kind of like... shouldn't be surprised anymore by these things, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's... You know, I don't know if they ever got all the gunk out of that one place after that ooze experiment, but I won't be surprised. So, like... Oh gosh, I remember that. Frankly, the fact that there's some minotaurs lost in the maze that try and attack people is about par for the course, really. So... Are you telling me that you have ventures like this all the time? I guess. Oh, sort of. I mean, it's mostly just the fact that the um, janitorial staff is struggling to take care of all the floors here, you know? Yeah, stuff just kind of happens. So were Don't you summoned up. too by Scolosia? Oh, Shem Shem's back, by the way. What? Maybe? Uh, uh, okay, let's not panic whilst we don't need to. It. Someone left a box in Katrina's room, and the tune that comes out of it is eerily similar to Shem Shem's, but we don't know that he's back. And by eerily so... similar, Precious means that Shem Shem's. Well, I mean, min minus the vocals, it's just an instrumental. This is the, the singing book thing you guys were talking about, right? The curse? Yeah, the murder yeah. book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That actually didn't narrow it down. The, the ghost murder book. Is there a place we need to go to, to re-vanquish it? Valley's going to uh, look up no, a tall it... stone statue there. I mean, a pinch, we could probably drop that statue on a book or something. That's probably fine, you know? None of us have been singing, so we're probably all right. It's good to have a plan, though. Good thinking, Valley. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like a pretty good prank. I think that's the extent of it. Don't know who'd be trying to prank us, but... Who would do that? Well, you know, the DM. it worked. <laughs> it worked, right? So, haha. Uh -huh. You know, this is probably preemptive revenge for, like, Tim for that mushroom hat prank we're planning. We hmm. haven't done anything yet. Which means that now that he's pranked us with this music box, we need to get him back with the mushroom hats. Besides, I just want that hat for myself. It's it's gone past the prank at this point. I mean, yeah, but if we have the hat, you know, we we, we might as well 
do a prank along the way. Opportunities. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh! Shh. Ah! What is that? Sir. The, the door emerges and Scholar Zio comes hurrying out glancing oh around my God. Like, this oh. is my first time seeing Scholar Zio <laughs> <laughs> he comes flying out in a bit of a hurry like, ah yes yes good good you're all here uh, uh, come 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 hello And he heads into another chamber in which you see have uh, a couple of desks, but one particularly large map drawn out um, across a very large planning table. Oh, this is a very large map here. What is it? A dungeon? In, 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 good, in good time. In good time. Uh, this is... Uh, close, close this door. Yes. And you notice, but the scholar seems quite... quite Dishevelled, um, in a bit of a panicked state. You, I, I did not, I did not approve of involving you in this, but needs must, needs must. <sighs> Professor Cousins has been abducted. No. What? Not, no. not, the, not him. Not the Green Tender. And he has been taken some. Take, I, 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 will, I will tell you now. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> She's new here. I'm gonna knock this in cat. my in my in my hurry to extend my hand. Uh, I'm gonna knock this book off the table and and uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Cat. Uh, and then I'm gonna lean down and get the book off. Oh yes, 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 but yes, yes, but Moonstar, the, the Moonstar, of course. Yes, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, <sighs> He has been abducted by a former wayward member of faculty who was imprisoned in the cells beneath Candlekeep. Is this the Firefly Cellar? No. Well, he almost said, oh. Be <laughs> below even the Firefly Cellar in terms of depth, although accessed oh, somewhere awesome. differently entirely. There are cells at the school? Yeah. This is not a school. It's more like, um, you know, like a place of learning and self-knowledge. Also, was like, constructed on... And there's on... cells? It the was constructed... I, I am trying to tell you and regale you of the history of this place. I'm very sorry, sir. Candlekeep originally was built upon a magical prison. It is within this prison, Spellhold that this wayward member of staff was imprisoned originally. This is why there's so many curses. Did he get out? He does seem to have, against our knowledge, slipped his bonds and now appears to be somewhat running amok within the prison. He emerged whilst Professor Cousins was on his watch down here as all members of faculty occasionally are bidden to do, and took him within Spellhold, somehow bypassing all of the wards. Members of staff are enchanted to be unable to pass into Spellhold to ensure such a hostage situation ever occurs. So I, myself, and other members of staff are unable to enter Spellhold. To retrieve a professor. You know what this is, Precious? We're what? gonna be doing a jailbreak. Yes. Uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Zio? Scholar Zio! The hostage situations happen often. I. It seems like such a strange safeguard to set up and anticipate. Um not allowing staff to a certain area on the off chance that one of them might start kidnapping students. Uh, I would have hoped that this place of learning does uh, 
more research into whom they hire. You are looking into this the long way around. Staff. This is a very, very old facility. Originally, the select staff who were able to enter were enchanted to be able to do so. As they have perished over the years, everybody remaining. This was somewhat an oubliette. Prisoners were not ventured into to be seen very often. And quite frankly, you're making me have to very much over-explain this for what was meant to be a simple plot contrivance on why high-level members of the staff <laughs> are not accompanying the students on every adventure. Oh, yes, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so oh, it sorry. Would, oh, I am an archmage. I am an archmage, you know. It would all over me very quickly. Sorry. sorry. Why would he want to bring you sons back into the prison? He managed to bypass all the wards. Why, why not just leave this place? I could only assume that he had some need for Professor Cousin's herbological skills. Maybe he wants to have mushroom hats. What? No, no, nothing. We need to uh, do a jailbreak. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Let's do a jailbreak. Or maybe it's I, just like revenge or something. Maybe he just doesn't like Kusas. I am very well. That 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 would be understandable. He is considered somewhat of a worm by some. Uh, I believe that this is I'm asking. If he's a worm. <laughs> <laughs> this is of course asking an extremely large amount of students, particularly first year students. Rest assured, there is no requirement for you to do this. You are able to decline with absolutely no consequence other than it being a bit hands. awkward, you being here. Okay, well, you can y Yes, yes, Miss Moonstar. No, 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 we're going, we're going. We're going. I, um, Let's go. Um, oh, uh, just, just one more question. If, if we help with this, there wouldn't be any compulsion uh, to inform in, inform uh, any sort of parental uh, units, right? You can lie. I'm quite sure I don't take your meaning. You're asking if we will inform them or if we cannot. I'm, well, I guess I'm, I'm hoping that they wouldn't even need to know about this situation we typically do not keep uh, parents appraised outside of the scheduled reporting periods which cover very specific academic and behavioral fields oh that's that's very good you can see okay. he feels he feels shame at engaging in the conspiracy <laughs> that is unfolding before him of child and student endangerment this is this is very good okay good to know all right i'm ready um, uh, no, not Persis you are most looking... certainly not. <laughs> Persis is looking over the map, um, stupid thing, and seeing uh, if if this is a map of the prison of Spellhold. Um, it does appear to be titled Spellhold, but it's split into quadrants and sections that don't really make sense, and some parts overlap from each other. And as you're even looking at the map. Some parts of it uh, shift and rewrite and rejoin with each other. Wow, this is okay, such a strange what? dungeon map. Who drafted this? This clearly doesn't make any sense. I've been trying to map yeah. it out, but quite frankly, attempting to map this place out is driving me quite mad. Well, I suppose we'd need a mad cartographer to map an insane dungeon. Uh. Everybody takes <laughs> seventy-two psychic damage. I'm Still out. Up, baby. I'm out. <laughs> Everyone he makes, dies. He makes the joke in a room of people just fall to the floor. What can I say? They've got uh, the luck. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, oh wait, yes, wait. yes, precious. Yes, 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 um, yes, 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 yes. Wait. You're... Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, let me let me just make sure I've got this correctly once again, Professor Theo. Um, you are sending us to um, potentially face off with a wayward member of your faculty who you've told us nothing about, 
uh, none of his abilities other than being what I can imagine a profoundly knowledgeable spellcaster to bypass all your wards. Um, and you're just letting us go like that. No, uh, you know, uh, potential vials of healing potions, uh, weapons, uh, armor. He holds, uh, a, he holds a hand up. If you'll follow me. I thought you could heal people, Precious. You remember the letter opener I found? I still have it. Oh, I have a weapon. You should, of course, furnish and equip yourselves with goods from the armory before venturing in. Ooh. And you find yourself uh, in a room surrounded by glowing magical artifacts, weaponry, and armor. <laughs> oh, is there a rack of potions somewhere yeah yeah it'd be a rack of potions you can each there. take three magic three srd magic items up to rare quality holy shit all right oh lord <clears throat> and how long do we have to choose uh we if it's srd i can drag it into your character quite quickly is there like a catalog? Yes, it's the SRD. If you Google five SRD magic items, you have a full list of them. Yep. And I have actually, them all if you open in... up the uh, compendium, oh yeah, I'll, I'll item, make... there is the SRD there. I might need to make it visible. Let's have a look. No, it is visible, isn't it? Yep. Nice, items even better. Or... Yep, you have oh. one called items bracket SRD. Let's go for. Well, you know, it's only the SRD ones, so I'm going to go ahead and put Bracers of Defense on Valley. Because the number of magic items that monks can use are somewhat limited. I've already put that on my sheet, DM, don't worry. Um, and... oh, there's, a lot of... there's a lot of good things in here. Hmm... I should actually just check that the bracers of defense are, in fact, rare. They are. Awesome. Uh... DM, may I have a sphere of annihilation? It's only legendary, but I feel like that should be an exception. <laughs> So three rare items, or lower than rare it's items. Rare so or lower. Right. Oh my god. There's a lot of things here. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, oh, this is hard. Do we if know, uh, CEO, like, do we know what this person was locked up for? Was he a great warrior, a mighty spellcaster? He was a scientist first and foremost, whose experiments were considered immoral and unethical for the place of education, and refused. He sought knowledge that was considered most immoral. Okay. His, na his name was <laughs> Weeberry, Professor Incessantus Weeberry. Incessantis. Oh. I'm going to take the 72 psychic damage now. Good one. You should take a rod as a pack to keep her chicha. It's great. The rod of what? Please, back please help. Her. Like... <laughs> Uh... You, you guys see Precious kind of going like, I, I, I can't. Nope, nope. Rod of um... Pack is not a thing. I guess that's not an SRD magic item. What isn't SRD? Not here. Uh, Rod of the Pact Keeper. Ah. The, like, very popular warlock item. But let's just see. Let's just see. Ooh. Wind Fan, Pike. Plus X armor. 
all things failing, the uh, classic of, you know, Ring of X Resistance is always a good choice. Um, good damage type, so it's nice. I am going to dig through this uh, chest for a little bit and then come up wearing like some absurd looking goggles on my face. Uh, and they have a sort of magnification that makes my eyes bulge out like a large insect, just grinning. And I'm like, okay, I've definitely found my first thing. And I would like the eyes of minute scene, please, add it to my sheet. Drag it from the compendium into your card sheet. Sweet. Okay, you see Riley pick up a necklace with a, a couple red beads that have almost like like they they shimmer oh, and no. they almost have like a flame inside. Mm-hmm. Oh no! A necklace of fireballs. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A necklace of fireballs. Nice. I'm choosing violence. Let's see. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Plus X, plus X. How oh, many of those you know are what? we taking? What was it, sorry? How many of those are we taking? Three each. Three, okay. Ho 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 ho! Slippers of spider climbing will be my third attunement item. Oh, that's nice on a monk. Oh, you know it. But I'm now totally tapped out for attunement. That being said, hmm. What about a belt of hill giant strength for a good old 21 strength score? That'd be pretty fun. That'd be very fun. You know what? I'm actually not going to take the slippers of... No, I'll keep the slippers of spider climbing, I think. I've seen those be useful enough. So for my third item, I will go for just a classic potion of healing because that is always a good one. Okay. Um, which one? So if you get a plus one item, which one's the rare one? Is it plus one, plus two, plus three? Plus, plus two, two is rare, I believe. Okay. I took Precious a takes a wand because she's a snipey. <laughs> she's an eldritch blast snipey. Oh my god, there's too many things open. So there is a cool looking wand that she's taking. Uh, okay. Attune. tune. Let's see, let's see. If anyone does want higher strength, I would recommend the Belt of Hill Giant for getting a nice 21. Um, but I don't think anyone here is a strength-based character. It would actually work for me. But that's just flat strength mod increase, and I feel like I could have a bit more fun with the Bracers uh, or Slippers of Spider Climbing. I think um, I'm also going to take a potion of superior healer healing. Um, I have one of normal healing, but I'm taking another. Uh, at the same time, I'm also going to... Does this count like a short rest, DM? Yeah. From all the Benutaring thing before? Yeah, Okay, absolutely. then I will put um, one, one worth of... DM, with my Vile Elixir... Whoa. Hello. Hello. DM? Yeah. Um, 
the vial elixir uh, contains a spell. Uh, to activate the vial elixir, can I activate it as a like, like a thrown thing, or does it always have to be ingested? I think it has to be ingested. I think. Yeah, it has to be ingested. Okay. I believe so. Okay. Whoa, uh, oh, that was some great luck on my short rest. That's amazing. So I'm gonna create a vile elixir now um, of cure wounds. Yeah, while you're waiting. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? No, uh, this is, I'm gonna create it of invisibility. Hold on. Contains only one level one. Never mind. Um, so, and can somebody give me a hand of something defensive for pressures? Uh, cloak of protection is pretty yeah something decent. of protection. There's also a ring. The cloak of displacement is also pretty good. Um, that gives everyone disadvantage on attack rolls against you until you get hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's I, really good. Let me check the protection one. Protection is just plus one to AC in all saves. Um, oh, I think disadvantage is better than that, I think. For me, because my your... AC is 12. You all are going to hear a rustle of fabric as Cat just does a big flourish and a beautiful robe with little eyes stitched all over it uh, is going to be around her and she's like this is gorgeous and mine now I uh, can't see that robe of eyes <laughs> uh, and as she puts it on she, like about 30 minutes later uh, she'll be like oh my god you guys I can see behind me I don't know how I can see, and she'll just do like a small <laughs> circle, like oh. I really thought you were gonna go. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, the next thing she's going to do is she's gonna pull up a little piece of metal with a another smaller piece of metal on a chain attached to it, and close the uh, chest. Um, and uh, just do a little ding with it and watch the chest open again in front of her. She's like, oh, yes. Yes, this is the one. This is the one. And I'd like the chime of opening, please. Add it in. Yeah. Did you get all three items, uh, Riley and... Uh, precious as well? Or are you still looking for no. something? No. No. Oh, oh I also took for... time of opening. <laughs> oh, did you, do you want me to choose something else? Because because I will absolutely look over and be like twenties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is hard. This is so embarrassing. Should I choose something else? I can choose something else. Well, uh, one of us is going also... to have to change items. <laughs> I'll start digging through the chest again. <laughs> um, are there also normal items here, DM? Sure. Okay. Uh... I might grab some once I figure out what I'm... Okay. Yeah, I think I've got everything. So, for the purposes of your notes, DM or your uh, own bookkeeping, I have taken the potion of superior healing, the slippers of spider climbing, and the bracers of defense. Okay, thank you. All decently passive items, but never turn your nose down on some passive benefits. And Riley went for what? The 
Necklace uh, of Fireballs, Chamber necklace of Opening, of and... Yes, and uh, I am all, I am still looking. Oh, okay, um, yeah. For the last one. Necklace of Prayer Beads could also be a um, good defensive item if you're looking for one uh, precious. Necklace of what? Wait, no, never mind. That is Cleric Judor Paladin. You can't use that one. My bad. Is there anything better than leather? Uh, wait, what am I wearing? I guess I'm. I guess not because uh... plus one leather armor. And she's not wearing armor. Oh no, she's wearing leather. It's true. But plus one is magical item, right? Yep. And I can't carry shields. So no. much take a force gun, force stand leather belt. Sorry? Take the belt of dwarf and kind. You'll love it. Hmm. Uh, I'm taking a ring of protection. Okay. Are we also attuning to the items? Yeah, the we'll say that the, the, the briefing period allows you to... Cool. Rest up in a tune. Otherwise, that would be very mean. <laughs> I th I think we also need to take some uh, restraining items, aka, um, you know, something to restrain him, like manacles, um, or um, rope, like proper rope. Um, yeah, I've got your rope already. Yeah, manacles for sure, though, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So we've already got some sort of restraining thing. I mean, I've, I've got some rope. That works, right? Okay, because Kat's going to hold up. Okay, so there's like these manacles, but then there's also... Look at this. It is a bracelet that just has daggers on it. And I threw one and another one just replaced on the bracelet, which oh, is pretty is cool. The, is that one of those... Uh, what's, what's, what's it called? Valley's going to snap their fingers a few times as they try to remember. Um, the I don't know. Like of daggers or something? I mean, that would make sense. I don't know if they fly, but they definitely replace. I would say, if I were going to name it, I would name it like a bracelet of replenishable daggers. But yeah. But yes, mechanically it is that. <laughs> <laughs> so do do I want this? Or she'll hold up what's mechanically the iron bands of binding? Or this? Oh, what do you guys think? Whatever sparks joy. <laughs> the taser it is <laughs> I know I'm not really a fighter but um, I kind of like being all ha ha and like if we're going on adventures maybe I need a fancy bracelet that can throw daggers but then again if there is a like you know crazed uh, faculty member out there perhaps I better get the handcuffs what an inventor, you say this. Uh, Weeberry was. Right, Zio? Indeed. Okay, so he invents things. So maybe he's not going to be very strong. He's just going to be surrounded by machines or something that do all the hard work for him. Or maybe he is very strong. I don't know. Well, this is impossible. I'm going to dive back into the chest. <laughs> Do you know anything else about him? Many of his lines of research were alchemical in nature. Potions, uh -huh. mixes, tran transformative serums, 
etc., etc. Precious eyes lit up. You don't say. He would create um, some vile elixirs. Uh huh. Tell us more. What sort of vile elixirs? I'm afraid this is all quite before my time. I have learned this information during my time here as staff. I was not here when he was originally incarcerated. Uh, I, I mean, what is vile anyway, right? It's all a matter of perspective. Uh, to uh, Valley, Precious shows them the wand. Um, did you mean this one, love? Oh, yeah, maybe. Mm. Well, my aunties made me this cool staff. But, hey, why not both? You see, uh, Precious has, since the new the turn, she has a, a staff that is actually not very big. It's not like one of those kind of big quarter staff walking sticks. It's quite small. More like um, the Egyptian goddess of, of death and rebirth sort of staff. Um, oh. And it's made out of some gnarly, twisted black wood. And even from that distance, you're pretty sure there's creepy crawlies crawling all over it. Add some. Yeah. Right? Y yeah. Okay. Oh, hi, cutie. Missed you. Yes, I also have missed your company. Riley jumps a little bit. Um, since when? Is he talking? Uh, it's a relatively recent development. I wouldn't get overly concerned with it. That's cool. Yes, thank you. I was quite of that opinion myself. Well, we'd had very, like, long conversations about how I thought he should stand up for himself and, you know, make sure he has his own voice, because everyone was being so mean to him, and then suddenly he just started talking. That's an entire fiction. These events never occurred. Sure. And she winks at him. Uh, Cat is going to stand back up from the chest, looking more and more like a coat rack with things just hanging off of her. Uh, and in one hand, she's going to hold up a small jar, and the other one, she's going to hold up a little ring. And she's like, okay, okay, I think I've got it narrowed down again. I have what I think is like maybe eye cream, but it has healing written on it. So I think it like is like, like restorative, like eye cream. Um, or there's a ring... Um, and it's got a really cool little purple stone on it, and I am pretty sure it's gonna protect my brain. Take the ring. Rings are cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, suits you. Alright. Um, and mechanically, it's restorative ointment or ring of my mind shielding, so. Keep it. Yeah. I will do ring of mind shielding. DM. Actually, be before we go, Professor Zio, a long time ago you promised me you were going to look into QT's nature. Have you managed to do that? Well, no, because you took him home during the term break, if you recall, when I was going to look at him. Right. When you went on your I... brief family visit, but he is, of course, it would seem by this point, infernal in nature. Which does not all automatically equate to bad. Of course not. That would be prejudice. Valley looks over at that statement. And says nothing. So how do you know, do you have any idea how it is that I vomited an infernal creature? Perhaps something that we should 
discuss when you are back. Uh, time getting on and all of that, but perhaps one where we could speak in private about it. Sure, okay, but don't change where your office is this time. You I said you visited you. your your guardians during your break, was it, yes? My aunties, yes. Your aunties, pl- plural. Mm-hmm. Two of them? Four of them? Do you have a problem with that? No, I'm simply, it, it's a plural a plural statement. It's, I was... it's perfectly fine for two women who are not actually related to raise a third. I know, a strong, I know woman. this. Well, oh, then... Three of you, three of you. Oh my okay. God. Yes, three of us. Oh my God. They, they were roommates. roommates. <laughs> and Zio continues to look you, uh, without even an insight check you can tell that he is trying to suppress looking uncomfortable alright well if right. anything I thought this institution was an open minded one um, oh don't, don't okay, be okay so, so should we go far from many fingers staff, then? far from many fingers draconic and small minded as well as I said come and speak to me once this is all over and uh I will discuss my my theorizing so far, but it has nothing to do with the residential habits of your female relatives. Of course not. Riley leans towards Vali and just whispers, Drama! <laughs> Alright, so let's go me- rescue this uh, member of staff, shall we? Yep. Yeah, of course. Let's or go. die trying. Whichever happens. We're not going to die trying. Look at We haven't died so far. Where are we going now? Nope. <laughs> oh, that way. I'm going to just hurriedly stuff things back in the chest as best as I can uh, and try and close it and just. Oh! Yep! Coming, coming, coming! I will Don't be. Lost. I'll be unable. All the time. I'll be unable to join you in this room. This is the warding room, which normally would cleanse of any magical impediments or impedities that have been brought in from Spellhold and prevent the prisoners from passing, but for reasons unknown, they did not seem to affect Professor Weeberry this time. He, like, sort of flattens back against the wall a little bit to wave you all in. Once you're inside, I will close this door, which will cast the enchantment, and then the other doors will unlock. Oh, is this one of those strange enchantments where we have to get our mind wiped to go in and <laughs> we'll be wiped on the way out? Nothing of a sort. Wait, what? You didn't hear about that? There would well, be mushrooms sure around. That would, that, that would be that. Remember, beyond those doors is a magical prison. Tread okay. extremely carefully. And you should trust absolutely nothing and no one. We're all counting on you. Good luck. I feel like we should have taken some sort of detect magic thing. Oh, wait, I can do that. Oh, I thought you had a cast it. The the floor shimmers with magical energy that washes up around your ankles and you feel like a warm violet glow pass you up and down several times any currently active spell effects are dispelled but anything you have that like produces a spell effect once this wave finishes passing up and down it does return isn't an anti-magic so Once it's finished, the large doors in front of you unlock. Valley's going to lean against the door. Does it feel heavy? Yes. 
Um, maybe I should have taken well, that belt of... The, the slightest... Once you begin to actually push against it, it immediately swings. Vali's just going to be caught a bit off guard at that and stumble into the next room and catch himself. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, he found some. Hello. 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 Spe- Hi. Oh. Wait, here? Stay yeah. quiet. Stay quiet where you are, please. You see a uh, a large Luxodon dressed in scholarly robes, wielding a uh, a staff. So, I was not informed of anybody entering the hold. Oh, where is what is Zio? Or is Dragner or Cousins or any of the others? Oh. This is a restricted area, uh, you know. I'm going to step forward with my most posh sounding voice and just say, Hello, I am Catriona. Oh, so, if you step forward, the, the staff is slightly level. Ah, 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 I said, remain there, please. I will stop and look as if I did so of my own choice. <laughs> Just, I'm Catriona Moonstar here, emissary of uh, Scholar Zio. Why? And who are you? Why has he not come himself? I am, of, of course, Elder Stouthoof. Member of the faculty. You yes, know this you're location. Here on an errand of his. And yet I have heard nothing we of the sort. Are, what is your errand? Uh, to locate a certain professor, and it is a need-to-know basis only, so I will not be sharing further details with you. Thank you, professor. And I'm doing this with all the air of a very wealthy person. Yes, the impetuosity of a student. Make a persuasion okay, check. I feel like we're getting off... <laughs> <laughs> Coming into this restricted area. Running your mouth. Why would they have sent you and not come themselves? Don't you know Why wouldn't she know that? As I said. Stop, 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 stop. She's, she kind of like she literally puts them like the mouth over, like the hand over, not over, but like just in front. Why don't you know the answer to that question? I fear you have been lied to. Let me guess, we told you that we were forbidden or were not able to enter. I see (sighs) the faculty of the Upper Tower staff continue in their ways. His trunk okay. reaches out to his pipe and taps it out. Still using students this... for the tasks they deem unsafe to risk their own precious academical brains for. No, no. What are you talking about? I mean, it's probably fine. Hmm. I'm just going to turn looking super confused and concerned to the others. Just like, what? (laughs) I don't trust this person. Uh, I have enormous ears, you know. I'm saying this to your face. (laughs) Okay. No, she wasn't, but now she is. (laughs) (laughs) Did you you hear about the... um, the, uh, the, Kidnapping? I've heard of no such kidnapping. This is indeed, in fact, the only way in and out of the hold. Who do you suppose has been kidnapped? Who were the last members of staff to come down here? Professor Dragner, some four months ago. 
Okay. I'm due to be relieved Sir? any day now. Sir, I'm going to say this with the utmost respect. I suspect you're either lying to us or someone's tricked your mind and you're currently under the effect of some sort of spell. Bella gasps. And I'd like to sort of start, like, just start casting detect magic, just ritualistically if possible. I don't know if we have time for that. I mean, ritual is it's ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. It's a bit yeah, awkward. If, if you're, yeah, if you're, if you're a ritual casting, I can assure you my faculties are quite unimpeded. But if you wish to be thorough, I can prove it to you. Come. Okay. And he comes to the corner where there is a sort of ladder up to a raised a raised decking area. And uh, very, very gingerly he ascends the ladder and puts himself in this area. It is very difficult to uh, to follow him up, but he will, will turn. He will turn and extend a hand down to uh, to help Precious up. There are tomes. There's a tome here that. Oh, we're all running around. Well, where where are we all going? I was just I was uh, just trying to like take the a proper route rather than to just like sorry. Can I possibly shift Riley and Varley if he's helping, if he's pulling precious up the ladder behind him? Um, yeah, as you, as you're climbing up, he will he will reach down to to help you the rest of the way if you'll take it whilst his trunk is beginning to select tomes off the wall. Um, and then yeah, as you're climbing up. He will suddenly strike at you. Ah, I knew it. Ah. Uh-huh. Too many questions. Too many questions. Yeah, and he and will. There's um, imposter among us. Uh, with will... disadvantage, please. Um, he has. A, he has advantage, so it will be standard. Fantastic. Does a 20 hit? Yeah. Do you have a reaction to? Um, um, no. Okay, he will... Oh, I don't know why it's hard rolled it. Um, the damage is not coming for some reason. It's 1d6 plus 5. Uh, but he also gets 3d6 added on because this first attack of combat... Jesus Christ. So it is 10 plus 12. So 22 damage, which I will do to Precious, and we will begin combat. I knew it! I should have said I was super sus. Too sus for me. So, Cat and Riley to roll initiative. Riley. Go, Riley. You're, you're up first. Um, these are walls, the platform. So, currently, uh, Valley Can would, I not, would not have any. Um, I imagine with your height, technically, no. But you are still a medium creature. Oh, no. Are you medium or are you small? I am small. Small. If you've moved back, he'd have half cover from you. But yeah, at the moment, you can't see him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so begin combat. So here we go. Riley, you're up. <laughs> and Precious, you're next. Oh, Riley. Uh, okay, then. Uh, 
All right, so I am going to move here and uh, use Elemental Blast with disadvantage then, right? If he has half cover. No, it's just minus two, not disadvantage. Oh, okay. Hits. Yay. I don't know why combat isn't um, rolling as automated as normal, but I can do it manually. Yep, your blast takes him. Okay. Any bonus actions I can take? Um, no, I think that's it. Okay. Precious, it's you. Uh, I'm going to, to uh, bonus action Misty Step. Uh, chip. To here. Uh, ideally on top of the the shelf. Sure. Um, so I can still see him. Like that we were more or less the same height. If that makes yeah. any sense. And then at uh, two Eldritch Blasts, I believe. Um, attack. Um, okay, I, pr I re pressed attack and it's not doing it. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. A 13. It goes 13? wide. Goes wide. Attack yeah. again. Yeah. Th wait, is, that's, that's not adding the plus two. Is it? That's plus not. Two. So it's missing from my wand. My newly acquainted wand. Okay, so yeah. So, so 50. From... If it needs 15, another plus yeah. two, a 15 hits. So I'll do Perfect. six damage. Okay. I'll, I'll do six damage too. Uh, no, there's no... I haven't rolled the damage yet. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Okay, but I'll do Seven another one damage. I'll do another one damage. <laughs> uh, I'm now going to add the plus two here manually. Mm -hmm. um, Hits again. I might just write a... I might just write it into the formula. Okay, um, you hit him with both. I'm gonna just kind of move a little bit out of mm -hmm. sight just in case I don't know what's coming. I'm going to take this as difficult terrain so I'm only going to yeah, move 15. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Alright, that's the uh, end of my turn. End turn. Okay. Alright. Vali, it's you. Vali is going to run right up the side of this wall using their newly acquired slips of spider climbing immediately. And they're going to draw their hand in a half sword Swing it with two hands against the doppelganger. Miss. Attack again. That was not adding my proficiency, but that's okay. That warrant to change it. I need a double click. I need a double click. Hmm? Why is it not coming up? Oh, there we go. Lag. I'll just roll one here. Yeah, mine's laggy too. 19, does a 19 hit? A 19 does. does hit. Alright, first how that will be. 5 damage. And then, they're going to follow it up with one unarmed strike. I'm going to go for a fire damage this time. 23 hits. 4. 7 damage, my lord. And that is my turn. Okay. There is a head-to-toe shimmer for a moment. Um, the doppelganger sort of raises its arms to punch you, assumes a bit of almost like a box and pose for a moment of early, and so this head-to-toe sheen comes up for a moment, and they uh, they hold their action. They continue just staring you down, getting ready to respond and react 
Ah, it's you. Um, it, the the target is not working. Um, you got a double right click. Double. Oh, there we go. Um, all right. Cat had climbed up this side ladder uh, and was coming up here, uh, and had seen him reach down and hit uh, Precious, and has just been kind of waiting here, like, okay, 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 okay. And she's going to turn the corner and just grab his arm uh, and just start lighting up um, and hopefully uh, shock him. You, um, what did you roll? 15? Uh, yeah. 15. Is it a touch spell, yeah? Yep. Yep, so you come up. Yeah, I've just ele- reached up and grabbed that- him. I'm like, stop, 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 yeah, stop, stop. Yeah. That electricity coursing through your hands. You grab him and your fingers continue through and just snatch up at nothing. Your hand passes straight through him. Uh, he, he doesn't react. He continues sort of squaring up, ready to punch Valley. What? <laughs> I'm going to say jinkies. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of, like, quickly look at Valley, like, just to make sure that they saw that. Um, Valley and that's it for my surprise. turn. I believe. I don't really have anything else I can do right now. Um, and after a moment... Or that I want to. And after a moment, he just fades. There's an illusion. Anything else from you, Cat? Nope. Uh, however, with my robe of eyes, I can see into the ethereal zone. Can I see him? Into the ethereal realm. No. Where is it? Up to 120 feet range. No, okay, you need to remember that. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Right, um, in that case, that would happen slightly differently. That's awkward to then find out afterwards. Sorry, um, never mind. I'm, because, I will forget because, that I had the robe temporarily. Well, no, because you, because you just got it. <laughs> um, he cast mislead, so he left a duplicate there and was going to have walked past you, invisible. Ah. So you, so you would have seen him step back from himself. And immediately pass you. Um, ah. Let's have a look. So yeah, that's only one action. So we can play that a bit differently. We can say if you want that you would have tried to shock the invisible one walking past you instead. Um, and what was your roll? Your roll would have been a 15. So you would have hit. With nine damage. With nine damage. So the one is still there in front of you, Varley. But you see Cat reach out and grab at something. Um, he remains invisible. But Cat now seems to be wrestling with something invisible. Deeper into the book. Another one? Is another one over there, Cat? It's here! My robe sees him! <laughs> okay, Riley, it's you. What are you saying? I can't see anything. I'm gonna go up, I think. And. You see. As you're looking up, you see uh, this doppelganger of his featureless figure looking ready to strike Varley and backwards further behind bookshelves. Cat doing some sort of strange interpretive dance. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Yes, I'm going to blast him. As I'm climbing the ladder, I think. Yeah. Okay. Is there a way to not not to show this whole description? How do you mean? So it's not so long in the chat. Uh, that is a setting for you on Foundry. If you go to the settings, the gears, uh, configure settings, uh, in Foundry. Uh, it will be under oh, the core settings, so and it will be collapsed. Just for me. 
Yeah, it's a person okay. by person. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do that later. Okay. So a, sev- a 17 hits. Great. Cool. Um, yeah, as as before, the figure vanished. Now vanishes. He didn't before. He vanishes now. What the hell? And behind him, yeah, you see Cat being odd. Anything else from Riley? Um, to... I can move here, I think. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Precious, it's you. Um, I, Precious is gonna hold two Eldritch Blasts. Uh, actually, wait, I'm gonna move here just to make sure that I ca- can't see anything, can I? No. Then I'm just gonna hold until something either hurts me or one of my friends. Okay. Vali, it's you. Vali is going to, uh... They don't know what mislead is, so they're going to look around to try and figure out where the Elder Stout Hoof disappeared to. They'd like to make a perception check to try and suss him out. Go for it. A 23. You see no signs of Elder Stout Hoof, but as you're looking around, it's impossible not to notice that Cat is reaching out and, and making some sort of odd gesture and seems panicked um as she does so and you're watching her twist you do notice a slight bunching and depression of the carpet in front of that valley's gonna come over here and the depression's right around here on the carpet yeah uh would that uh perception check have taken what that was that was a declared focused cool yeah. Then that will be their turn as they try and be over here to help out Cat, and I cannot use a bonus action because most of them require me to do something else. Okay. Elder Stouthoof. If that is his real name. Spoiler. It is not. Um, <laughs> being reached out and shocked by Cat. You see the head just turn around back towards you. He'd been stepping back. He'd sort of stepped back out of himself as um, he cast the mislead. And when you sort of shocked him from behind, the head just spins 180 degrees, almost owl-like. The neck just twists and possibly round towards you. Um, Cat, as then from the hips up, his top half just twists around to be facing you. Um, You feel... Your mind, as the the big white eyes just glow for a moment. Could you please make me a DC fourteen Wisdom saving throw, Catria Star? Mm-hmm. Uh, Twenty one. You said Oof. wisdom, right? I did. Okay. You make it. Yeah, um, you are. You feel something pressing on your mind, but you're able to throw it off. Um, the depressions in the carpet move. The figure is trying to get away. Um, you are able to make an attack of opportunity if you want to. I can't remember, Vi. Do, do opportunity attacks require you to see? Yeah, so Vali cannot make an attack of opportunity. Okay. Katarina can. Yeah. And unless she has the Warcaster feat, it can only be an unarmed strike at the moment because I don't believe Katarina's wielding yeah. a weapon. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe I am either. Uh, you, may, you may attempt to punch the invisible man. Cool. Um, Just make an attack roll against yeah. nothing. Against yeah, how would I? All right. Yeah, go unless you have a <laughs> plus thirteen <laughs> to hit. <laughs> so sad. Oh, also, I forgot to say, the doors would have entered behind you. It could have closed behind you when you entered. Spin. Okay. Yeah. He disappears from your sight. Okay. 
Catriona, it is you. I'm just gonna look around like I'm slowly spinning, um, looking disoriented and ready to strike. Um, but if I don't you? see anything, um, then I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, as you could see him, he did go from you that way and then went out of sight because of the bookshelves. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna call out. I don't, I don't see him up here anymore. And, and neither does my robe. Did he go downstairs? Or down to the lair? Yeah, he went down. Where did he go? Go after him. Can I even see him out well, on if the you, floor? Yeah, if you, if you were to look out, you see that he mm-hmm. is already on the same bookshelf. You see Precious waiting at the end of a bookshelf. And he is already at the far end of a bookshelf. Almost like cat like stalking along it towards uh, her. Um, I am going to. Terrifying. Too Thank far you. away. Yeah. I am going to go down the ladder and then sprint down here. And that's it for me. Okay. They're also like six foot up on top of the bookshelf there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, like, on the floor. Okay. So, 5, 10 for the ladder, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, you're one more up from there. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump around like, he's on top of the bookshelf! Remember, you, you haven't used your action. You can cast a spell at him if you want to. To get the full... Oh, okay. Okay, then. Okay, top of round. Was that not... Did I miss count? That's only 30 feet from your stone oh, point okay. where you are right now. Well, then, then, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll shoot a, 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 a missile at him. If I can remember magic. the word. What, I, magic magic missile. Tar- mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, roll the damage for it. I don't know why Foundry in this world keeps hitting great bit. Because for some something is choking out this world. And it keeps going into yeah. great big sort of processing spikes oh, for a minute and then catches go. up. Yeah, it's I, I'm seeing it happen on my end. It's it's something, but my but my foundry world's getting choked by. So yeah, the uh, is it two two more of those? Is it? Uh. Yeah. So you yep. um, your spell blasts into him, and he is revealed on top of the. Thing stalking along towards you. Um, I believe that also. No, 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 no. I'd already done. That. Oh, I thought you said two more. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I said, I said it's always the same damage, so I said it's two more of those, isn't it? And then I manually did the damage. Um, but you had a held action this turn, I believe, Precious, to unleash your Eldritch Blasts I... if you became visible. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, so, so you just see, you see Cat's spell go fine up onto the bookshelf and suddenly he just sort of ripples back into existence and you see that he is just at speed like fast creeping towards you uh to raise hit uh, go only one hit though um as she is startled by the sudden apparition of this creature behind her back okay top of round riley it's you okay are those walls up to the ceiling yeah. Okay, so I need to go down. Okay. I'm gonna go here. And... Blasting him again. This time I'm going to amplify it, though, I think. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Um, I need to hit first, though. So... Yeah. Anything else I can... No, I can't. Fuck. Oh, we'll be well. Well, then. <laughs> That's me. I tried. <laughs> okay, <laughs> precious. Uh... 
Precious is going to jump down. Is this okay? is that okay? Yes. Can I jump down or is it too high? I can also no, climb down. For no, no, you, you can yeah. jump down, Miss, without uh, fall damage. Um, uh, go shit, shit, ah, uh, and fire two more uh, attacks at the stupid, stupid creature. Um, it's. Yeah, foundries. I don't know what it's doing, but it always catches back up. Woo! Nice. Another crits. Italy. Oh. oh well. Aw. It's fine. That's cruel and unusual. Um. That's the. And she's just gonna say, "You don't really. It doesn't have to be this way." Terms. Vali is going to run and they are going to jump off this little platform and land on the wall right above Precious. Like that scene in Inception when the hallway starts spinning in the hotel, they're then going mm. to start walking <laughs> towards corners and they are now on the roof. Nice. Thanks to the new slippers of spider climbing, which are already coming in quite useful. And they're going to close the distance all the way there. I and cross the distance. Swing their hand and a half sword. Uno. Hits. And that would be acceptable damage. And they are going to spin it around and slam at this doppelganger with a pummel of the sword. With Hits. Both hands. As they just slam that pummel right into his chin. And then. I suppose since they're on the ceiling, this is a bit of an odd perspective, but they go for almost like a knee kick. But instead of like going into their gut, this is almost like jumping down to hit it on the top of the doppelganger's head with a knee. Are you going for like the cinema, the cinema, the jumping knee slam that is not allowed by the law of cinema to ever hit? It must in fact smash the floor beneath them as they roll away. Yep, and as Vali falls from the ceiling, they're going to, well, try that jumping knee slam. They're going to fall from the ceiling and land on top of this bookshelf as they flip 180 degrees. It'll work. I suppose now. Nice. Five feet above the ground. Okay. And that is their turn. The figure is looking in a bad way, but now this airborne warrior drops down in front of them. Uh, they are going to try to do the same thing to you. Vali, please make me a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. You know it. Oh. Not even close. Cat, it's you. Wait, what did you just try to do to me? You, did you try and get my head? Your thoughts are mine! I am just going to throw a forward my hand um, and just do a chaos bolt. Where's this creature? Oh, rolling privately, are we? Oh, I didn't mean to. Crits. So I don't think it hits. You want me to re-roll? It was a I, I, I can't see. Yeah, it does not hit. But also, can you roll me a d100, please? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Can you roll me a d20, please? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. All's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> So the chaos bolt <laughs> is going to fizzle and not hit, and then I don't know what happens. <laughs> so, it's always bad when the DM laughs. So the, uh -huh. cha the chaos bolt. Describe it to me, Catriona. I'm measuring things. So. That, that's that's oh, Vali. Uh, that's that, Vali. Oh, okay. Uh, it's an undulating warbling mass of chaotic energy 
Um, and the 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 damage type is usually random. It can be mm -hmm. any of the elemental types. Um, so it kind of looks like multiple, like um, like a, a like kind of a greenish purpley uh, octane yeah. color um, until it hits. At which point it chooses the damage type. Okay. And lands the on bolt. Them. The bolt shoots towards a doppelganger who you can see isn't going to raise it to his arms in time or move away but inexplicably the spell just bends away arcs mm -hmm. through the air shoots towards you oh. oh and at the last moment seems to flitter and open into like wings before it strikes you with a huge oh, dear. Poof of feathers and purple energy oh. Catriona is gone and a raven is in her place. You have been polymorphed into a raven, Catriona. Oh my god. Uh, She's a were raven. Do you have any movement you'd like to use? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Riley, it's you. Your friend is a bird. Great. <laughs> I can't see anything. I have lots of bird friends. You'd get along with them. Uh. Okay, uh, Vali, you feel, um, energy cursing through you and you feel stronger and you feel it, um, reverberating in your weapon as Riley, uh, casts Enhancing Surge. Aw, uh, yeah. And you gain 1d6 temporary hit points. Uh, you next time you deal damage, you deal one d six additional damage, and on top of that, uh, the next weapon attack deals additional two d six. As okay. I'm using two side points for this. All right, I'll add my one d six temporary hit points. Would you like to roll that? I can. Okay. What's your feature? That is not. Right way. Wow. That actually brings Vali up to exactly full hit points if you count it. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Okay, so and basically, if the ne if your next attack will be a weapon attack, then you have three to six additional damage. Three to six. I love it. Okay, anything else from Riley? Um, I'm going to move closer to Cat. Cat, are you okay? That's not Cat, that's a bird. I'm just going to caw at you. What's it sound, <laughs> what's it sound like? <laughs> okay, Precious. Me. Precious, it's you. Uh... Two more hair attacks. Uh, I don't know if Cat had actually seen uh, Precious's flavor of um, Eldritch uh, Blast. I did see the hair attack because I compared it to um, the one princess from she with her hair. Yes. And trapped her. Oh, that, that doesn't hit. Thank does you. Hit? Yeah, yeah second, second one does not hit. Does not hit. God, that's terrible. Uh, I need to change my invocations. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, sorry. Uh, is it a bonus action to summon my my thing my my thingy, uh, precious uh, key? Um, I think we action? said in combat. I think we said it is. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, then that is the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Valley's gonna swing their sword again, and. Any other features beyond the extra damage if it hits, uh, Riley? No. It well, hits. That will be. Tell me how you just tell me how you dispatch this creature that had one HP. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm, hmm. I think it might be dead, John. <laughs> to shreds. To As shreds. Riley swings their sword. Riley's uh, psionic energy is going to ripple down the length of their blade, and the moment the blade touches this dread doppelganger who's on its last legs, 
Riley's psionic energy explodes from the blade and sends... Holy cow, that was a hot 3D... Well, that was an acceptable 3D6 roll. That was a hot damage roll, and it just sends a dread doppelganger flying back against the wall. Yeah. The, uh... The figure is struck, topples from the bookshelf, and slams heavily into the wall, and doesn't fall to the floor, but ca- almost like one of those sticky toys you throw up a wall where it head over feet, sort of tick, 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 its way down. Um, but as it does, with each sort of flip, stretches and becomes looser until what hits the floor is essentially a puddle. Oh, that's, um... Oh, that, that's, that's kind of disgusting. Oh, oh. Uh... And the creature is... The creature is kill. Valley's going to walk right down the wall. Um... The cat's a bird now. Cat, you oh, is that you a feel... thing that happens or she was a statue mean... before? Cat, you feel a strong sense to perch and to forage. You notice some shiny things on desks. Oh, we should catch her before she gets lost. Uh, she looks no, fine to me. She get lost. We're we're kind of locked in this room, so. Oh, you're right. Valley's gone. No, come back. No. You go that way. I'll try and go this way. Valley's gone. No! Bird. Daddy. There are so many scrolls oh. and books being knocked off the bookshelves right now. Uh, can I roll animal handling? <laughs> You can. I will let you make it an advantage as well because of your history of taming and uh, building bonds with bird type beasts in particular. I gave you advantage for this! (laughs) You are unable to calm the frenzied raven. Okay, let's just give her some space. Um... I mean, she'll probably just untransform where she wants to. That's what happened last time, right? I think so. She just sort of stopped being a raven then. I mean, well, stopped being a statue then. So, um, do, do we need to, um, oh. Oh. After a minute, <laughs> cat lands heavily on her ass on the floor as a few feathers drift down around her. Oh, sorry. Um, you okay? okay? There? Yeah. What happened this time? <laughs> Is anything broken? Um, no. It's just a few things knocked over. Wait, the guy. Did we get the guy? Yeah, we did. He's um. Ali did. Huddled. But Riley helped out a lot. Oh, oh, I'm going to awkwardly start trying to put scrolls and books back up on their shelves. Yeah, we might want them. So, uh... Oops. Is there anything... Is this it? Is this Spellhold? Uh... Yeah, what's all this about then? One quick note, DM. I see the door icon on the left here, but this looks like a wall. I presume we're not supposed to see this door icon over here. This looks like it would be yeah, a door. It's, it's just a door. Out of this room. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. On the map, it just looks like a stone wall there. So I was just wondering if that was supposed to be a. That's door interesting. No, no, it's just. Uh, let's have a look. Type it does door. Look like regular. There's a bit lock. of other stone wall that's slightly I d- larger. I did. I did build. Over. Yeah, I did build this particular segment in an unusual way. Maybe I have the wall layer higher than the door icon. But no, it is a visible regular door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, um, okay, guys, can we just like huddle up before we go anywhere or do anything else? Just, just a okay. quick like little huddle. Um, and I'd like to summon uh, summon QT for this as well. Uh, QT's just gonna like manifest out of like her shoulder. You see, like Precious is like a bit upset, and she's like, okay, so 
We can't do this anymore. We can't be this gullible. Uh, we were told that there were they're difficult. Uh, there, there's bad things here, and that we shouldn't trust anything. And the first thing that we do is we try to obey staff, like they have some sort of authority over us or something. And those are not the rules of this place. So I don't want any of us getting hurt. And I got pretty hurt. So we can't do that. We need to be smarter. You're um. You're right. Uh. I mean, to, to, to be fair, that was, uh, believable, I guess. I mean, I think that was one of those shape changes, and I mean, their whole thing is to trick us, so N not our best moment, but, um. Wait, was Zio not Zio then? Zio is probably Zio. Th that seems Zio like Zio. Zio is always the Zio. one that get mad at you for asking too many questions. No, that's just Zio. Oh. And also, he blatantly lied to us. He told us Hussons hadn't been here, and we know that he'd been dragged through here. This is the only way in and out. Yeah, there, there's also that So we just need to make sure that... Yeah. That's, it, I mean, you guys know what, what I mean, I just... Yeah. Well, I, I don't, I... I just assumed that was a, a, a head master of some sort of learning facility that you guys all seemed to know i can't actually cat again i know you're new this is not a learning facility i don't i don't know where your parents told you they were sending you this is not a school it there's classes sure there's staff but it's mostly a place full of dangerous secrets which is honestly what makes it so great yeah, I don't think they knew that when they sent me here. I mean... At least I don't think they would have. To be fair, most people aren't really dragged into murder book stuff. We just have bad luck or good luck, depending on what point of view. Um, but... Precious is right, we need to be a bit more cautious. So I, I can go ahead. If you'd like, go in front so that next time the person getting hit on the head isn't precious. Well, I can go first. No, no offense, it's Katarina, really not but a competition about getting hit. <laughs> also, no offense, Katarina, but like the last time you got into a fight, you turned into a statue, and the next time you turned into a bird. If we need to run away, maybe it, it, it might not be a good idea if you're you know, turning into a statue or a bird while everyone else is running away and you're at the front. Did it just yeah. get darker here? Or is it just me? I think so. No, uh, it got uh, darker. Well, the ambiance oh. is really nice now. Well, but, um, if you're going, then maybe we should go quickly. Precious, do you need me to heal you? Um... This is our problem. Uh, well, listen, if something knocks me down completely, then please do go ahead. But I think I'm okay for now. Uh, also, you sure? In case Thank anything, you. Also, in case anything happens, um, my potion of healing that I borrowed from the storeroom is right here, and Valley's just going to uh, tap a satchel on the side of their belt. So. If any of if Valley's down and you need to use an action to feed them a potion, then you can use their potion on their belt. Uh, same with Precious. She's actually yeah, got two, one normal and one. All right. No, we just don't. We're not gonna fall for something like that anymore. Um, if right. you give me ten minutes, I I'd like to just make sure that I can detect any magical wards or traps or things like that going forward. I just need 10 minutes to okay. uh, honestly remember yeah. uh, the wording of this particular spell. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's barred classes. That was a while ago. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
so while yeah. you're doing that, I'm gonna pull my goggles back down over my eyes, and I'm gonna just go scan all the shelves. Quick mechanical question, Riley. Those temporary yeah. hit points from the empowered strike, do they have a duration? Ooh, that's a good question. It does not say. Then they will last until the end of the next short rest. Thank you. I was just checking that. Cool. While uh, Precious is ritual casting that spell, um. So, oh, remind me, which, which, which spell is, which spell is, um, Precious Catch? It's just to take magic. Okay. Um, in the meantime, as we come to Varley, as Cat's walking around with his goggles on, inspecting and looking at the box, um, they are all illusory. Every single one? There are no books in this room. It is a room of empty desks and empty shelves. Um, not wanting to disturb Precious's, uh, concentration, I'll just kind of lean over to Valley. Um, this room is actually empty. Like, what? all these books are fake. And I'm gonna just, like, kind of wiggle the goggles at you. You can almost see Valley's heart break in real time. When... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's... It's just, look, never mind. I'm sure there's plenty of other books elsewhere, but I'm... Let's, uh, I just... I'm sure there's other books elsewhere. I, if, you you know, but, um, the, if you can see through the illusions, can you see any, like, cracks or drag marks or dirt that well, Cusins made? Oh, have yeah, in? I'll look, I'll look, I'll look. Cusins is um, always in the I'm, greenhouse. I'm worried that... We're... I'm worried we're not actually where we're supposed to be. I mean, Houston isn't here, so we're probably, you know, on the right track. But um, not being where we're supposed to not be. I have a question, though. Um, if... Do you remember that gift I got? You were worried about that being a prank, and it was tied into some curse, and, like, who would know of that? And then suddenly, we're dealing with shape changers, and, and people sending us to places where we don't end up in that actual place, it would seem, but a, an illusion of that place. I'm I mean, just wondering, did we accept the premise without, without, like, we keep trying to make everything make sense to the original premise, but I'm just wondering if the whole thing is a trick and we should stop trying to fill in the gaps to make it make sense. Are you it's because Zia kind of... wouldn't lie to us. But maybe it, he wasn't him. He acted like him. I mean, you have a man before, but that sort of grumpy feeling is kind of Scolazio, but maybe what's going on here is he did say this dungeon shifts and changes, right? So maybe this is one of the rooms of Spellhold that just shifted to be near the front entrance when we entered. And it's I'm just not. an illusory room because that that thing volley motions to the kind of puddle that's pooling on the floor maybe that thing it creates illusions because it just made a fake illusion of itself that i was about to punch before riley beat me to it maybe this is just it decorating itself perhaps it's just practicing its illusions here because it wouldn't look like you know um if it was disguising itself as an elder of the school of Candlekeep, it looked pretty strange if it was just in a barren room, but maybe that's what it was doing, it's just using its illusions to make it look like it belonged here. Why is it so empty and weird in the in the first room? Cause because Precious said like there was only one way in and one way out of here that we can see. I why is this room so empty? Maybe it's just because it's not supposed to be here all the time. Maybe a different room shifted in. 
Besides, I mean, why would they keep books and and stuff here? Like it's it's a prison, right? Even if it's a prison, like I, I think the big thing to remember here is that Sue did say that this place changes its layout every so often, which is why he couldn't map it. So maybe that's just what happened: is that there is a shift in layout here, and that's why this room is the first one here. It's still like, all accepting the premise that the the Zeo guy was the Zeo guy. Uh, I just something doesn't add up. Are you suggesting that we've entered an underground vault that's playing with our memories and we're just in some sort of crazy loop here? <laughs> Mac, don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I can hear this. Um. Well, if, well if we're in this loop, and, or if we're just trapped in here, we should maybe just plow on through and try and break the trap, you know? Just do it once more with feeling. <laughs> Don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it wasn't that I thought my memories were being messed with, more just that I... I mean, I've never met him before, but I think anyone could play grumpy old old person. Pretty but, easily. But there's also a bit of compassion there because he didn't want us to do this. It's some. Uh, Zio is just kind of grumpy, but he also like cares about this institution and the people in it. And he, we did save his life before, so even though he doesn't like dragging students in, if the, he did need to drag some students in, we'd probably be the best people to ask because. Riley, Precious, Tim, and I, we, we all saved him. So he'd probably trust us more than, you know, asking for, well, anyone else. Like, Yeah, and, and he sent me with... this letter with with a stone to, to help me enter this room. I'm gonna... <laughs> look even more suspicious now like I just feel like things are adding up but you guys are new friends and so I'll I'll trust you if you say that was really him and that this is really the place we're supposed to be then you know I guess let's keep going Yeah, I mean, if, if we presume that Zio is fake, then we're, like, there's nothing here. We're just doomed in the first place, so we can't presume Zio is real. Or of... he's fake and he wants us here for a reason that isn't a good one. Well, then we'll break the trap when it tries to spring on us. We've already broke one trap. And he did, he did very explicitly warn us not to trust anything in here. So if we listened to his warnings, we probably wouldn't have got attacked by stout hoof you know what's funny is i remember him saying that too because when he said don't trust anything or anyone i remember thinking as he sent us through the portal like but does that include you um and then we came here so i never really got to ask that question i'm, I'm sure we'll be okay okay I, think I mean, it's not too late to turn around. Um, you guys whisper incredibly loud, just just so you know. Um, oh, sorry. We could always turn Wait, around. Uh, well, what about Cusins? I mean, I'm not, but... H have you exactly. Guys, you guys have been here, uh... We've been sooner here than me. Have, have you have you met, have you seen Cusins around? No. Or, or Zio, for that matter. Well, I mean, we saw Zio when he met you here, but... Uh... Before. No? No. I mean, it's a big place. Is your spell ready, Precious? It, I think so. Well, then let's just continue onwards if the spell's ready. Just so we can, you know, right. find Q-Sense. Maybe the next room will shed more information on what's going on here as Valley yeah. opens the door. Uh oh. Hello? Hello. Um, I don't know what happened. As you open the door, a torn robes, 
matted, bloody fur. Scholar Zio has his hand on the wall as he staggers towards you. No. No, you should not have come in. No. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. Target and make an attack. Um, does Precious get anything on Detect Magic off Scholar Zio before she shoots him in the head? Oh yeah, did she complete her casting? I her hope ritual so. Ritual casting. And that's why we opened the door. That's why we opened the door. Right, that's good. Uh, true. Full illusion magic. Full illusion magic. Eldritch Blast. I mean, I feel like Jija completely com finished have, like, the on too, and my robe. The hair just kind of like goes right uh, past. Why, why didn't that go into? Oh my bomb! Yeah, because you. Oh, wait, no, that, it. The... Oh. It, dispel it dispelled him. Oh, that's him. Okay, again. That's a good just thing you cast a spell. Do you see? Walking carefully forward, not trusting anything for our own sanity. Can we just trust the things outside? The magical lock and not the things inside the magical lock until proven different. Yeah, let's okay. just assume that yeah. one side of the magical lock in this vault of underground secrets is accurate. Um, let's... Cutie, stay ahead of Valley if you, yeah, or just just next to Valley if you can, please. Uh, not dragging Cutie around till needed, but yes, Cutie is with I, yes. whoever's at the front. I, yeah, yeah. Well, give fine. me. Uh, yeah, okay, perfect. You, you have, you have control. You are an owner, can't. cutie. Really? Can't. Oh, because it's an yes. it imp now. Hold on one second. Cutie. Configure ownership. Oh, you don't just be an observer, not an owner. Now you should be able to. Cool. And now I can't see him, but... I will just come back. Come left. There you go. Oh, cutie. As cutie gets closer to Valley, they're going to start walking a bit faster down the hallway. <laughs> Presumably, cutie will try and keep pace. Yep, you hear those little wet, those little wet slaps of the fast. feet. Don't walk too fast. I'm trying to see if there's there's wards. Oh, we're all stacked on top of each other now. <laughs> you begin to feel warm, Valley, as you push forward and hear a gentle breeze, the swaying of palm trees, oh. and find yourself approaching a lovely little pool. The path continues past it, or off to the left. There are, as you can see here, a few lit up towels, a nice little canopy, and a gently rippling pool. And apparently a token attached to stamp, but we don't think about that. <laughs> I was going to step in here. Uh, okay. Um, which way should we go? Hmm. You know, snakes says always go left. And Valley's going to turn to face the wider hallway down on the south side. There is here. a rippling in the water. Uh-oh. Um, Snakes there is record. for sure, because I absolutely just sat down in the sand and put my toes in. Okay. As you plonk yourself down <laughs> and put your toes in, you see a couple of points of light for just a moment in the water, and then an odd shifting. And then everybody sees and hears the cascading of water as up, filling the chamber from beneath your feet, cat, rises a very large form, bringing its head up out of the water. What you recognize to be a young black dragon. Oh. That fills almost the entire size of the pool. Oh, my. <gasps> Wings unfurl. Yeah. This is bad. Uh, I am just 
staring in awe and wonder, like my jaw is on the ground. And it just looks at you before speaking in Draconic. Anyone other than Vali have the ability to speak or understand Draconic? Nope. Nope. Uh, Rest. Yes. Really? I was tutored, hey, uh, but I'm of the morning stars. I speak like six different languages. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I took uh, a beat for it. Those, those who do not speak Draconic just hear a oddly rough yet elegant language that seems to be very heavy, but also follows a slight musical intonation in its roughness. Um, those who do understand the words just hear a uh, and who comes now disturbing Fixer Maladrith? Greetings Fixer Maladrith I am Valley. We are looking for a pass through. The head just spins towards you. You butch of a tongue. We sully it not. And then switches to common. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really out of practice. I've been trying to learn it myself, but no one really speaks draconic, so I, I don't have a good way of capturing the sort of melody of the Song of the Dragons. A apologies. And Valley gives a bit of a like, nervous bow. I'll see you bow and I'll hurry and scramble up to my feet and do a really deep curtsy. Oh, uh, very pleased to meet you. Catch her on Moon Moonstar. I don't uh, care. Eminence. Why are you here in these halls? You are not if I may. prisoners. You may when I have finished. You are not prisoners, so you are not escaping. You are not staff, and so you are not working. Why else then? Now you may. Precious smiles, her precious smile. We are we t here seeking one of the staff by the name of Kisans, and we'd be very grateful if you'd tell us if you'd seen him pass through these halls recently. Clearly, nothing escapes your sight. Indeed. No, I have not seen the sap-handed one in some years. Okay. You must be mistaken. Well, then... Oh. What do you mean? If he had been through here, I would have seen him. I have not seen him, therefore he has not been through here. Does this, the layout of this place ever change, O Venerable One? With each floor, though I do not lower myself to visit the lower floors, I am, quite naturally, the last defense. I care not what happens on the lower levels. If anything should escape and wreak havoc, let it. It will not pass me. May we pass you, O Venerable One? <sighs> yes. You do reek of the vulpine philosopher. So I can see that you are true. <clears throat> And sort of lowers himself up to the shoulders, back in, into his pool a little bit, just the neck and head remaining out. Thank Go. You. Um, Your generosity. 
Wait, Fally, we're doing this great creature a very flag favor. Uh, I relieve me when I say that I hate to contradict you, but you have indeed missed something. In fact, you've missed at least two things. Uh, Q Sans was kidnapped, and one of the prisoners did it, which means they came through this place twice. In fact, we fought one of the prisoners or an aspect of it in the room next door. And I think it's important that you know this. You are, of course, once again, mistaken. I am not. I have killed students before. Surely, in that moment, you were in the right, but you can look into my eyes and know that I am not lying. I am certain that you imagine that you are not lying, but you are mistaken. Please, tell me again. Sorceress blooded little child. How smart you are and how wrong I am. Bali's going to look over their shoulder towards Precious and just give a bit of a pleading look as you can tell there's a bit of worry beginning to cross over their face as uh, Fixomologist, I believe, uh, says, please tell me how wrong I am. I don't need to be smart. And you don't need to be wrong. For the things that I say to be true. But, since you are so certain, and I just love to prove myself a fool, we'll be on our way. And surely come back empty-handed. With a very bored sort of ugh, it slaps its neck and head into the water and subsides. Let's uh, make like a tree in the leaf. Valley starts hanging down over here. Valley, you'll need to explain to me what you find so fascinating about those creatures. Did you not hear how it spoke? It sounded beautiful, yes. It also They're... sounded arrogant. I mean, well, no one's perfect. But did you not hear... Like, they're ancient. They have histories older than nations. They have magic in their very bones. They can breathe fire or lightning or the chill wind. Mm-hmm. They've seen empires rise and fall. Is that not fascinating? Sure. Sure. Bali is going to peek their head around this corner. Oh, it's going deeper. We're going deeper now. Oh. Oh. I've lost cutie. Cutie, no! <laughs> Thank you. Gosh, I think. Uh, just in case you don't know, Gija, you can keep pressing tab and it will cycle through actors on the scene you have control of. So it will jump okay. to wherever cutie he is. Oh, uh, could you please delete this one? I can, I can delete it. Can I delete oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, you should be able to. Uh, no, I can't. I can see light. Oh, not bad. <gasps> oh. You enter a room where there seems to be a fair bit going on. There are 
tables and lit candles, an empty cage, a strange chained statue of a magical portal spinning wildly in front of it. And then in the centre of the room on some sort of plinth covered in glowing runes, there is a dome of rapidly flickering like a magical net, but in like a in like a bubble or dome coming from the floor. And stood in the centre of this uh, inside this dome is a figure staring at you all with curiosity. Uh huh. Ooh. Hello. Oh my god. Good evening. You are the meddlesome students, yes? Um, so right now or in I certainly hope so. <laughs> Often, yes. You have been dispatched by the candle keep faculty, yes? Yes. A shame. What are your areas? Step in. Those of you who are not yet in the room, I can sense your presence. Uh, who are you? I am Professor Incentatus Weeberry. You know this. This is why you have been dispatched in here. What are your names and your areas of academic expertise? We will Where's start with. We will. I will address that. Uh, we will begin with the tiefling, please. Um. Sh- should we be telling you this? Consider it roll call. Vali's going to examine this pulsing field. Uh, does it look like it's an intentional cage of sorts? It looks like. How do you mean? It does look like a cage. Okay. I'm 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 Vali. Uh, I'm sort of interested in history and mythology and also draconic studies. Hmm. You are of. Mm, Levistus heritage, yes? No, I'm, I, my parents have no connection to the Hells, I'm, I'm sure of it. Ah, yes, of course. Draconic, you say? I must have found the, uh, the guardian of this place rather interesting then. He told me off for trying to speak Draconic to him. Uh, yes, I imagine that uh, I imagine that it may be somewhat crude to draconic ears. Uh, next, the halfling. I'm Riley. Uh, I study herbology. Yes, Once I can gather it by the grime under your fingernails. I can see it from here. Okay. Where's q uh, He is assisting me with some work of my own. Uh, next, uh, these two young ladies. You, with the pink hair. You can go first. Your name? Hi, my name is Precious. It's actually an honor to meet you. I heard you... Uh, are into potions and elixirs. Okay, so that's and you. I can. I think I know everything I need to know about you. Uh, and then finally, this other young lady. Um. Uh, hi, my name is Cat. Do you? Do you need? Good help gracious. Out of there? Okay, I know. Ah, no. Uh, no, no. This is. Uh, this is not an issue. But uh, I thank you for your concern. Uh, you have been sent in. To recover the professor. The professor is actually aiding me voluntarily on a project. Really? A volley I sounds doubt a that. Bit disbelieving. There's a lot that your faculty members up in the main tower have not informed you entirely truthfully about. Cousins is much more open-minded and was more than willing to lend his herpological expertise to a project I'm working on that will 
change the nature of science and magic. Sounds That's fascinating. Um, could you tell us more? Maybe we would be more open to believing you if we actually heard Cusan say this himself. Could we see him? I can certainly arrange for that, yes. You would like to see him, yes? Uh, yes. yes. I would like to hear more about this project. We, we came here for Cusan's precious. Yeah, Riley, you should see a look. What? You guys love learning from books, but you have like a, a real life master a scientist right here. Precious, let's let's just wind back. Remember that conversation you got really, um, and, and you really emphasized like two rooms ago, in the illusion. Oh, I'm not saying I trust him. I just want to know what he knows. Houston is a scientist too. We could just ask Q-Sense. I would be happy to tell you more about my work first. Are you, how familiar are you with alchemical processes? Not familiar enough. I know the basics. Ah, the basics. She knows the basics. Uh, this is excellent. I know news. some transmutations. I know how to heal matter i know how to uh necrotize matter i know poisons and a little bit about liquid nutrition actually liquid nutrition very this is not so far from what i'm investigating actually uh, i rather than show i uh, tell you i can give you an excellent demonstration if you'd like uh, you are familiar with uh, some of the other students amongst your faculty, yes? You have met a young man, a young man named Duvald, yes? What's this about yes. Duvald? Oh, know Duvald? Oh, Duvald was uh, most agreeable to helping me with my experiments. And he was actually the first person to aid me with my new regimen of liquid nutrition, as you say. Allow me to... <laughs> allow me to demonstrate the advances we have made together. And you see that he takes a small device out from his belt um, oh, no. with, a, with a button on it and presses it. Lights flash on in the room. The portal in front of a gargoyle statue fires up and spits out an individual which I will now show you a large Twisted, malformed individual. Oh no! Yeah, it is silent green. And I would like everybody to roll initiative. Yeah. Not, not you, token attacher template. Oh my god! It's so big. Yeah. That is huge. That is really big. That whatever he is drinking, it is working. I'm not saying there's no side effects, but it is working. Do love those token frames though. Mmm. They are pretty great. What's happening with Valley's decks? I have simply got bad luck here. Cat! Hold on! That's It Duval? is you! Look at the name. Yeah, that's Duval. Oh my god. Uh, 
Um, Cap, you're up. Yep, I am going to look at this guy. Um, okay. Uh, channel a spell at him. Uh, and I'm going to attempt to polymorph him. Cool. Also cast me a D100, please. Yep. yep. Uh-oh. Mm-mm, I do. Roll me... Roll me a d20, please. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my god, how do you keep doing it? Um, what, does this happen I, before I or after? slightly more kind. Let's I, I am... Be, these are... Be, so there's three options. So I get you to roll a d100. Then the D20 is the, if it's mild, medium, or severe. You keep getting mild ones. Um, oh. Cat, oh, turn, cat, cat turns into a potted plant. <laughs> oh, no, not a potted plant. Cat turns into a potted plant. However, it doesn't say anything about the spell not being made. Um, did she target him? She did not target him. Oh, it may have just been. So let's have a look. Duvald is polymorphed. What is he polymorphed into? Oh, oh, actually, actually. Is Katarina incapacitated oh, because of plants? Because yeah, plants are yeah, the yeah, yeah, broken. Yeah, it is. So he turns into one well, what were you going to turn him into, Cat? A little sheep. So he turns into a sheep. It's very much like the original World of Warcraft cinematic. He's like 10 foot up in the air. And he drops down. She turns into a potted plant. And he just poof, lands in a crouch. Um, yeah, Cat is a potted plant. Good grief. Anything else from you, potted plant? You just hear the susurration of leaves shaking. Okay. Nope. Precious, it's you. Um, I can't believe, like, three spells, three polymorph effects. Hey, yo. Well, that, that completely changed, uh... What I was going to... Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, sorry. Sorry, that completely changed what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna need Duval to make me a... Uh, is this the right time? Yeah, let's do it. Um, a uh, charisma setting throw. Twenty-one. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. And I'm gonna assume that this is some sort of horrible magic thing, like this thing, this light here. This um, some sort of like magical ward that I can't walk through. Try and walk through it. I am definitely not going to uh, <laughs> walk through it. It's, yeah, it's there red is. The floor is bathed in a similar, almost like wall of red energy. I can't believe I wasted my bane on that. Okay. Alright. End of turn. Oh, uh, yes, sorry. End of turn here. Yeah. Okay. Riley, it's you. Eldritch Blasting. Eldritch Blasting? It's Elemental. Sorry. <laughs> elemental Blast. <laughs> Twenty-three hits, six damage. Right. Oh my god, that is what the fuck is that? How are those rolls? You keep rolling high hit, low damage tonight. Amazing. Anything else from Riley? Uh, should I move? No. Maybe. Maybe a step back. Meet me at the front. So 
Demetari, he right, can come with 18. Demetari. Evolved swings an enormous pick. Can Varley do anything about a 27? Is that a crit? No today. Oh. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to get it here. Fifteen. Right. Oh, didn't, uh... Oh, why can't I amend Varley's HP the way I can everybody else's? That's very odd. Okay, Varley, can you please remove 15 HP from yourself? You know it. I'm not sure why it's doing it that way. Um, and then... Check something. And then we'll make another. Uh-oh. 29. Is that a crit? No. Really? Okay. Five. For 11. If you can remove a further 11. But that is him. Alright. You're going to be real here, guys. You guys might want to pump out some heavy damage here. Um, are we doing... Becomes an... Yeah, because he's a he's a familiar and he's here of course, and he yeah, does yeah. things for me. Yeah, he does. So he, he does things. Now. He's gonna become invisible and just kind of like come around here, uh, and he's just invisible. Uh, I think that's an act. Yeah, it's an action. So uh, action movement, and he's gonna remain invisible and t awaiting orders from yeah. Precious, his friend. <sighs> Not master. There is an invisible cat behind your left foot, Duvald. Precious is so much more than a, a cutie, so much more than a cat. <laughs> Valley, it's you. Let's start out with you get all in shock. Valley's going to swing her hand and a half sword at Duvald. Miss. Just caught off guard by this monstrous thing. And then they try again. With that roll. It's lagging. One second. Alright, no worries. They're just stumbling in shock as the thing that was once Duvald is now trying very hard to kill them. And did a very hefty job that first round with two massive attacks. What's this? Plus ten to hit? Why was it taking so long to go through? I'm getting very I'll concerned. I'll try hacking again. No, it's still hanging on my end. It's okay. an actual, it's an actual program hang for me. I think it's going to do one of the modules we have. Um, I hit F12 before to look at the console, and a lot of stuff about it doesn't like how some actors are being pulled from. So maybe I need to. I think I may just need to rebuild our Candlekeep world. I might export the characters and re-import them. Yeah, it should have caught up now. There you go, thirteen. Also, uh, doesn't hit. A thirteen hits. This guy's huge. Oh, oh okay. That will be nine damage on him, and I'll need one counted on a good old con save for a stunning strike. A twenty-two. You know this guy probably has good uh, features. Valley is going to spend one more key point and take the dodge action. Okay. As a bonus action, and that's their turn. All right, Catriona, can you please make me a DC DC fourteen with the saving throw? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Um. I would like to... Oh, it's one of my sorcery point things to add to my... Friend luck. Is that it? Yeah. 
Would a potted plant have the knowledge or foresight to no, utilize an ability? Would, never mind. No. For you currently have an intelligence of zero. <laughs> Precious, it's you. How does he? Lo- How is he looking? Uh, the cr- devolved. Other than yeah. the other than the torture, other than what looks like the torture of existing, um, he looks pretty unfazed by the well, pretty only very mildly phased by the attacks that he has received so far. To be fair, only one. Okay. Time. Yeah. Um, okay. I uh, precious changes the wand for a second to the staff and points the staff and mumbles some words in symbol in Sylvan, casting giant insect, um, expending five of the charges, and I would like a giant scorpion to appear behind him. Oh, a giant scorpion? Jesus. Oh, a giant... I do! I have giant scorpion! I have giant scorpion! Amazing! Behind him. Yeah, a giant scorpion falls into the room. Does it obey your commands? Uh, it obeys your verbal commands. In combat, they act on a turn each round. Ra- on my turn, on each round. Okay, I'm I will. he gets a turn right now. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess so. And I very much will say, Pinch! Um, I can't <laughs> control this creature, but I assume no, it has an fine. attack. I-, I can, yeah. Um, it has yeah. multi-attack. It makes three attacks, two with claws, one with sting. Oh, you love to see it. So here's the first one. Misses. Here's the second one. Misses. Here's the sting. Misses. What? How is how bad is he rolling? Eight, seven, and ten. One d twenty the, plus four. Yep, yeah, the AC is plus four. Tw- Eight is one d twenty. It's not. Why isn't it pulling through any pluses? This is an SRD one as well. Let's have a look. Thanks, roll twenty. This is all your fault. Huh? Yeah, it hasn't added plus four to any of them. So let's have a look. Um, what was the stinger? So two of those were hit. So eight damage and. What? <coughs> what? Oh my god! Sti- what is that sting? Uh, stings have the poison damage as a rider effect, uh, so it would only take the first one d10 plus two. And <coughs> it has to make the DC 12 con save or take half of the poison yeah. damage. Yeah. Um. So this You'll- claw, this claw, goes scraping through. Uh, the stinger goes in. You see the blade pierce and the a few pumps and pulses as the venom is driven in. But he doesn't seem bothered by that. And you do notice that, you know, he seems to have a large tank and several intravenous tubes of a vivid green liquid that is pulsing away and steaming. You suspect that perhaps the poison might not have been a problem for this guy. Yeah, At all? Yes. Or like not? The, the sting, the stink has damaged him, but you don't see any, you don't see any struggle or suffering. On the yeah. Did one of the claws hit? Yes, one of the claws and the stinger. Then he and needs this... to make a escape DC twelve grapple check. Oh no, he's actually grappled. Yeah. Hits. Cool. Okay. okay Any, that's anything else? Turn. Anything else? It's nothing else from your turn. Okay. Next up is Riley. Okay. I am casting Enhanced Regrowth, which uh, basically means cure wounds on Bali. Thank you. Um, let's. Uh, that 
lets me use Enhancing Surge as a bonus action. Ooh. So uh, you gain 1d6 temporary hit points and 1d6 additional damage on the next attack roll. Three! Alright. And if enough some you, Riley. That is it. Okay. The scorpion's pincer wrapped around like the sort of mechanical arm of Duval. He yanks away a couple of times as if to strike Riley. When his looks and annoyance turns with the war pick, and he's going to bring the war pick down on the scorpion a couple of times. My god, what's this thing wrong? No, there's a bad raw dust. That was him. usually a one, was it? Yeah, it's not one. Plus ten to hit. My goodness. Cutie. Uh, Cutie's just uh, okay taking the dodge action. Uh, the dodge action while being invisible, and he's just going to. He didn't like that he was spotted, so he's just going to dart to the other side, underneath okay. his feet. Well, oh, it's right. you. Oops. Vali is going to swing with her hand and a half again. For 12. 12 hits, hits I believe? It does. Alright. For 6 damage. And you know what? I'll spend a key point. Let's do another stunning strike. Let's see how that will go. It only needs to work once. Conte, please. Oof. He is stunned until the end of my next turn. Nice, the blow ripples up. As, um, as you goes... make that strike... Oh, let me read the timing of it, actually. Just reading the... Do you deal... You don't deal damage as part of the stun strike, do you? No, I do. Uh, when you, you do. hit with a uh, monk weapon or an unarmed strike, you can choose to spend a key point to enhance that and have the okay. stun strike as a rider effect. Excellent. So, as a uh, as Devold obviously feels this paralysis effect spread out from your back, from your from your blow, um, you press it quickly. Presses some sort of button on the apparatus. It's all over him, and you see the uh, the liquid just bolt, just rushes and intensifies. It's very um, like Bane's venom effect, and you just see the skin harden. Um, and defensively, he seems to be somewhat bolstered. Uh, was he still stunned? He's still, he is still stunned, yes. Okay. He oh, just oh, looks oh. to be somewhat fortified. Oh, jeez, okay, okay. Uh, it seems like it's a... Vali's just sees this happen and it's like, okay, it's reacting to my blows. Uh, they're gonna look at their sword and then look at their hands. They're like gonna let go of the sword with one hand. Uh, raise up a fist, and as they do, fire is going to crackle around their fists as they do an unarmed strike, but they're going to damage shift it to fire, as that is just something that uh, dragon monks can do. For 23. For 5 damage. And as they strike what was once Duvald with fire, does Duvald seem to resist that in the same way? No. Alright. Okay, fire, fire is working. Um, and they're going to then take a small step back and l fire is going to erupt around their foot as they do a swinging kick at Duvald's peg leg. For their bonus action on arm strike. Hits. And that will be seven bludgeoning damage to Duvald. As these blows are raining, you just see like that venomous sort of chitin that's um, over him, just sort of cracking and falling away bit by bit. Okay. It should be noted that these unarmed strikes are magical for the purposes yes, of like this. Yes. Catriona, make me a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Go, go. Go, cat, go. Go, cat, go. go, cat, go. go. Okay, we need to get this woman an iron stone. Precious. Okay. 
Okay. Two Eldritch Blasts uh, in the shape of hair. Yeah. Uh, 25. Strong okay, crits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Stunned. Must be clicking crit damage. Uh, no, that's that his was... disadvantage. Not oh, okay. a crit. That's paralyzed. Oh. Should I, no, um, I... should I just... Should I fish for a crit? Yeah, always. Always. Well, that was the second one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that one also hits. And then I'll just roll a d20 in case to see if that's a... That would have been... The first one would have been a... Nope, it wouldn't have. Oh, oh it would have. That's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> there is a natural Oh my god! Crit nice. Fish. I told uh, you. So that's oh, just one d ten. Oh. <gasps> Yay! One damage. Um. And uh, she turns to the scorpion, and again in Sylvan, pinch harder. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Let me do those now. Advantage on all those. Yeah. An advantageous Bruh. 11. Is that? An is advantageous 21. Uh, no, why is it not doing that? It might be. Okay, so 3 damage, 8 damage, and then the stinger. 22 damage. And it's not really worth doing the poison. Um, the saving throw because he's no. got immunity, right? Yeah. So 10, 18, 21 damage from our scorpion friend. That green sort of dermis continues to rain off. Riley, you're up. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Advantage. Oh, advantage. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Remember to click crit on the damage. That's the oh second time it's happened. What? That's crazy. Twelve damage. Yeah. How is he looking? Um, the green sort of plating all over him is just raining off now like a wall that's getting skimmed. He's getting the little plaster hacked away. It's just raining off him. His flesh underneath looks as fine as it did six seconds ago. You begin to suspect that he threw up some sort of armour that you've been chipping away at. Hmm. Anything else from Riley? No, that's it. Okay, Duvald is stunned. Cutie. Uh, a dodge action. Cool. Oh, sorry, at the end of his turn, actually. Let's check. Mm -hmm. Let me just check the word of it. Yep. The remaining green skin crumbles away. He effectively gave himself a turn of 150 temp HP. Holy oh, shit. Which is now, it lasts a turn, the rest of it is now crumbled away. 150? Mamma mm, mia. Yeah. So, Vali, it's you. I want some of that juice. I want All that right. juice. <laughs> Vali's going to swing with her hand and a half. Uh, at advantage. Four. Seven damage. Hit me up with another stunning strike, DM. Oof. Stunned Stun again. Stunned again. I love it when it works. Oh, hold on. What did I just click? Sorry, I set him to 7 HP then. Not, uh, not remove 7 HP from you. There we Oops. go. There you go. Bali's going to again reach out and swing their sword, and they're going to try and aim their next blow at one of the various pipes that's surrounding what was once two balls, trying to hack away at this Bane apparatus. And I'll get a crit this time. I lied. Still hits, huh? For 10 damage. Mm. Then they're going to jump up 
grabbing onto Duvald's mask, and with their uh, unarmed strike, they're going to try and yank the tube off the mask. Oh. 13? Er, 11? It's not enough. With one hand grabbing the sword, the other hand trying to grab onto Duvald's face mask, they quickly let go, sort of worry of Duvald tumbling over them in this stunned position. Okay. Cat, with a shimmering and a rustling of leaves, you pop back into being yourself. Thank God. Okay. Um, is that my turn? No, no, it's the beginning of your turn. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to pop back. Um, won't have much time to react or see what's going on. Uh, see that we're still fighting this thing, and I'm going to send the chaos ball this way. Cool. Advantageous memory stunned. Ah, okay. Oh, Oof, so un- unfortunate. Roll me, a, roll me a D100, please, Kat. Oh, yeah, oh, no. my oh, my God. Roll me a D20, please, Kat. You should use the dark eye thing that you have in your book. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my you are protected from the Fae for one day. Such creatures cannot attack you or harm you unless they succeed a charisma saving throw against your spell save DC. So you effectively have Fae Sanctuary. You just see the shimmering veil of leaves and thorns um, like tapers up around you from the plant pot on the floor next to you uh, and fades after a moment. Kind of look around for a minute, make sure I'm like, still me. A, a beneficial effect. Oh, Kalu oh. <laughs> Anything else from uh, you? Nope, with that terrible roll, that was it from me. Okay. Uh, Foundry is once again stuttering, but Precious, that will be you coming up next. What do you plan to do when Foundry lets you? Uh, I would like to roll an Eldritch Blast at advantage. This or is a uh, Here's the slide. Sorry? It's a boss. Feel free to use a spell slot. I, I use five charges for my staff. Oh, right, right. I forgot about that. That crab's doing great work. Never mind. I mean, it's a Oh, wait. He's stunned, right? Does that mean... Yeah. Stunned, which means he automatically fails any dexterity saving throws. Um, also has advantage while all attacks. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, okay. It's, it's precious. It's uh, Cutie's time to shine. So instead of that, um, no one sees this, but Catriona Sorry? does. Uh, Cutie, no, yeah, Cutie has his own turn. Yeah, you split him into his own turn. I remember. He's, yes, he's, but he's... I, I have, I, I haven't finished. Ah, um, which me, I know what I you're doing. <laughs> um, no one really quite sees this, but. Uh, Priestess's eyes go black, no iris, nothing, just all of it black. And Cutie's eyes also go, well, they are already, actually already are black. And as um, Priestess's nails elongate to horrible, long, sharp, dagger like na- black nails, so do Cutie's. And she's gonna cast Inflict Wounds by a Cutie. Yeah. Using his reaction. Uh, oh, does it does it yeah, use the familiar's start. reaction? Does it? Yes. So it uses the that. familiar's reaction to. So, to yes. I knew they could. I knew they could conduit touch spells. I didn't realize it. Just, I didn't realize it cost their reaction. Oh, that hits. Damage. Mm. That's necrotic. Okay, thank you. That's, you should have a plus uh, two to that in the Toon's Raw as well because of the wand of the watch. Okay, at some point I'll set that up properly, but thank you so much for calling that out because yes, that's right. Um, okay, uh, her eyes go back to normal. That is the end of her turn. Uh, but not the end of the scorpion. 
Of course. He's going to attack with advantage. Um, they're not, because Foundry is still being difficult. But in a moment, they're going to, yes. I will have this crab. I mean, Scorpion. I will have this fixed for our next session of the new year. I will, I will rip out this world and begin and begin a new. That just sounds so evil, there, Diana. It is I, Doctor Weeberry. Oh my God! I just got it. Yes. What well, incentatus? Incentatus Weeberry. <laughs> Professor Incessant yep. Libri. Yes. Yep. Yep. I'm surprised. I expected a furry foe to face us. <laughs> Just wait. Oh, wait till you fight. Wait till you fight him. Zephyr Strike. Satoshi Smash. Oh my god. Cusins is a worm. Goatee Grapple. Cusins uh, is a worm, Irina, now. <laughs> uh, I am still in Foundry to catch up. This, this could be. A problem. Um, where are my dice? Okay, it was 1d20 plus 4. Was it? Was it in the four? Yes. So, with advantage. <coughs> okay, first one hits. Do you remember what the damage was? Of the, uh... Uh, I can scroll. I think it was 1d10 plus 2, but I would be... Giant, giant Scorpion 5. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually going to fall. 1d8 plus 2. 1d8 plus 2. Okay. And so the first thing is one, 1d10 plus 2. First one hits for 8 damage. Oh, it's all bloody poor fuck now. God damn son of a bitch. Okay, um, so first of all, he's taken the damage from the first one, which I rolled manually. And now let's do the next one. So, advantageous claw attack, plus four. Crit. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, nice. not, not the strongest crit. Uh, and then sting with advantage. Another crit. Yeah! For, let, let, me, me, just se- let me just separate this, separate the, de- the venom damage. Good grief, that was 50 points of poison damage if you there. Which is wild for a CR3 enemy. That just deletes a little <laughs> a player. A battle. If you're hey, fighting, hey DM, you're guess what's coming? Guess who's joining my, my, uh, my menagerie? Oh, it's menagerie. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. In, in space, everything's immune to poison now. Um, okay, yeah, that, that goes in, something good. What's next for Precious? Is that good. all she that's, can do? That's all good. Okay. Yes. Riley. Uh, how is Valley looking? Valley's looking fine. They're at high speed, you know? Okay, good. Uh, then I will continue blasting. So anyway, I continue blasting. 20. Hit advantage. Advantage. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's stunned. He's he so is. Stunned. Oh. Okay. Yeah, roll that damage. Damage. Uh, 11. And that's it. Okay. Duvald is stunned. Cutie. Used their reaction to cast a spell. Any action from Cutie? Yep, touch. Okay, Vali. Can I get away with it with a third turn in a row? Let's find out. Vali is going to swing their sword, aiming for one of the tubes. Twenty-two. Tell me how you bring down Duval as the pipe bursts out of the mouthpiece and begins to spray steam and it's liquid everywhere. Bali is going to swing their first blow right at the peg leg that was once Duval, uh, knocking that down, forcing Duval to fall to his knees. They are going to jump up onto Duval's shoulders and they're going to strike for the massive container on the back, stabbing that with their sword. 
trying not to actually hit the person who's once devolved here. And mm -hmm. as it pierces the container of strange liquid, they're going to rapidly jump back and backpedal to avoid being splashed with any of this strange ichor. Yeah. Coursing out in the broken machine. So that happens. There is a violent uh, explosion of, of this liquid that flies out everywhere. Tubes flailing wildly. Um, as it does so, the figure lands face down, quivering slightly. The professor stood beneath that magic. Looks out across you all. Like, mm. Deeply disappointing. Clearly further further modifications must be made. What did you do? Can I... Is Duval retransformed into Duval? No, the body is slightly changing and shifting, but uh, it isn't back to Duval yet. Is it dying or is it unconscious? You can make a medicine check to find out. If you... Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's alive. It's alive. As in, like, yeah, as in... Okay, I don't have a medicine kit or anything, but... Uh, I would like to kneel die. down and, and just examine him, like... Anyone, anyone who wants to can make a medicine check. Yeah. I'll oh, oh my god. god. Okay. May I make an investigation check on this this area over here? Gosh, you greedy bitch. A man is dying and you're looking for loot. A monster is dying. I don't know who that was. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, Riley, you can do that at advantage because I'm helping you. Oh, thank god. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, as the figure nice. sort of as the figure contorts and shifts, the skin begins to take on a greenish tint. Um, there is a squelching noise as the prosthetic leg sort of separates away from the, the changing body, and you see that this does not appear to be Duval. It is an orc who you do not recognize. The volley is going to point their sword at the professor, knowing it's a bit of a futile gesture behind the portal. What did you do? What did you do? Their voice is sort of cracking. Guys, I'm that's worried. not Duval. No, Duval is actually deeper. He is in my laboratory two levels down. Uh, but this has provided most excellent data. I shall report back have Kusan's amend amend the ambrosia accordingly the real Duvald should not have any of the weaknesses displayed here clearly a a weakness to blunt force trauma is something that must be remedied in the next concoction Vali is going to reach for their belt for one of the darts they have and they're going to throw it right at the professor yeah perhaps unsurprisingly it does not pass the, uh, the grid. Yes, yes. I mean, I thought it was obvious enough that I'm surprised that you would try, yes, but uh, it's the impetuousness of youth, I suppose. Or wouldn't I be the fool if I didn't try it? Uh, you should toddle on back to your professors now and inform them that uh, they you had their you... one chance. They have mistaken it. I will be back in the lower levels. Goodbye. No, no, no. We were supposed to meet. Yes, you yes, out. yes. <laughs> you're no, 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 me. Absolute uh, impetuousness. Goodbye. It's okay, Riley. It's okay. No, it's we'll not. Have another chance at him. We'll have. We're gonna just continue, and we'll find him. Make sure that he can never hurt anyone, not even an orc. It's okay. Are you been an orc? I know. Good grief. Um, we're going to open next session with the results of Catriona's very, very successful investigation check of that table. Yeehaw. We, we, nice. we, we, will, we will pick up here. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll even find that Tim falls out of that portal behind the screen. <laughs> who knows? Hey 
But yeah, there is... You just need him to fall out of it. There is more to investigate on this floor, and we will do so next time. But yes, thank yeah. you very thank you very much, everybody. Um, thank I, you, I yeah. very I very deliberately wanted to spring the shopping on you. I, I didn't want everyone to sit there thinking about min max and worrying. I want people just to open a compendium and be like, oh shit, oh shit. Because I thought that's the closest thing to the students being presented with a treasure chest and just pick stuff. I wanted you to all be like, woo, woo. So I, I didn't mind it taking 10, 15 minutes because I feel like it was probably ref- it was probably reflective of what would have happened if you were all actually in that situation. Um, Sorry, DM, but I already know all the best items for Mux. <laughs> but yeah, that was us. We will be back in the new year for more Yeehaw. Candle Keep. But yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I just... Was I actually a fool? Hold on. Oh, I could have grabbed a sunblade. You fool. <laughs> right, we'll catch oh, you all later. I'm a clown. Bye. 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 Bye.